Hello everyone, I am Ritobroto Ghosh, Vice President at Ikra Limited and through this podcast I would like to share the key takeaways of Ikra's latest note on the steel sector. Domestic steel companies face a bumpier road ahead as the external environment becomes more challenging. In the last quarter, the industry's absolute earnings plummeted to a nine-quarter low due to a combination of factors which included A. Falling realizations and B. Elevated coal and energy costs. According to ICRA's latest note on the steel sector, the industry's full-year operating profits are expected to contract by as much as 45-50% to year-on-year in financial year 23 leading to the free cash flows slipping into negative territory after a gap of two years. Dependence on external financing to meet committed expansion plans is likely to increase going forward, early signs of which can be observed in the gradual increase in the industry's borrowing levels. Consequently, we are seeing that the industry's leverage level, measured by the total debt to operating profits, deteriorated to an estimated 2.7 times in the first half of financial year 23 as against a historic low of 1.1 times that we saw last year. Next, on looking at the demand supply scenario, we find that the government's infrastructure-led growth model has inched domestic finish till demand to register a double-digit growth of 11.9% in the first eight months and looks poised to close the year with a growth rate of around 8%. However, given the expectation of a slowdown in the pace of economic activity over the next few quarters, domestic steel demand growth is likely to moderate to between 6 to 7% in financial year 24. ICRA expects fresh steel capacities accumulating to 21 to 22 million ton per annum, being scheduled for commissioning in financial year 23 and 24. Given the prospect of a moderation in domestic steel demand growth and a lackluster export environment, we believe that the industry's capacity utilization levels will slide to around 78% in financial year 24 from the high watermark of 80% that we saw in financial year 22 at the peak of the cycle. Thank you.